What's up guys, it's Kaylin and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing an extreme closet clean out. My closet desperately needs this. It's been so long since I've actually gone through and gotten rid of the clothes that I no longer wear. Everything is thrown in here right now. Not only do I need to clean it out, but it needs reorganized. I'm also going to be doing my drawers too, like my dresser drawers, just because I feel like if I'm already doing my closet, I might as well just go through all my clothes and just do a massive clean out and reorganization. Before we hop into the video, I just want to say thank you so much to Poshmark for sponsoring today's video. I've been a huge fan of Poshmark for years. Poshmark is actually the easiest way to sell clothes and clean out your closet, but not only can you sell clothes on there, but you can actually shop amazing deals from thousands of brands that you love. They have Zara, American Eagle, H&M, Sephora even, for up to 70% off, which is crazy. So if you're kind of redoing your closet like how I am or for style changes, you can still shop the brands that you love, but it's budget friendly and you can save a lot more money than going out and buying everything brand new. If any of you guys shop luxury, they also have luxury pieces available at affordable prices with complimentary authentication with purchases $500 or more. So I will actually be selling everything that I get rid of today on my Poshmark closet and I know that it's going to be a lot. So I will leave my Poshmark handle on the screen right here and leave it in the description box. Also make sure you guys download Poshmark in the US, Canada, and Australia using the link in the description box down below. That way you guys can shop my closet or from the brands that you love. So thank you once again to Poshmark for sponsoring this video. I do just want to say um, I accidentally deleted the first clip in this video I don't know why that keeps happening so in the next clip you'll actually see me taking everything out of my closet Marie Kondo says to take everything out of your closet go through it and then put it back in rather than going through it with everything in your closet so just to catch you guys up that's why I'm taking everything out of my closet in the next clip but I really hope you guys enjoy the video please make sure to like and subscribe and let's hop right into it This is the current state of my room. It is a disaster in here. Um, I'm gonna have to wait to do my shoes just because I don't have any room. But I have all my hanging things there and then I clearly have a sweatshirt and sweatpant problem. My hoodie collection is absolutely way too big so I'm gonna be going through these two but uh, yeah, we're gonna start sorting these into piles. Sorry if you guys can hear my fan. I had to turn it on because I'm sweating already. But basically with the KonMari method, you're supposed to just like hold it, feel it, and then if it doesn't spark any joy, then you get rid of it. So basically I'm going to be going through every single piece and just like holding it, feeling it, and seeing if it sparks any joy. I know it's gonna be hard because like, like this, this has like the tags on it still and I've never even worn it. I just have to remember that it's going to find a better home that I'll actually get some use out of because this has literally been in my closet for probably at least three years at this point. I haven't worn it in three years and it's brand new so this is gonna have to be a no for me. A lot of this stuff isn't my style anymore. I just need to imagine like what my dream wardrobe looks like and then if this stuff does not fit in my dream wardrobe then it needs to go. Unless it's sentimental then that's obviously completely different. But if it's just something that I purchased that I just don't wear anymore or I've never worn and it just doesn't fit my style anymore. It needs to go if I touch it and I don't feel any joy. So it's something that I'm not gonna get a lot of wear out of, so this needs to go. This is definitely a yes. You guys love this shirt. You guys ask me where I got it every single time I wear it. It's from brand name Melville. I absolutely love this, so this is a yes for sure. I just got this from Urban Outfitters. Absolutely obsessed with it. It is like definitely my favorite flannel that I own now, so this one I'm definitely keeping. I haven't worn this in a few years. Definitely not my style anymore. I haven't worn this in forever. I just bought both of these, so these are a yes. Oh man, yeah. Uh, this is from Express, tag still on, never worn. Oh man, okay. Well, I got it a few years ago, I've never worn it, so. Sorry, Mom. We're gonna have to speed this up a little bit, otherwise I'm gonna be here all day. So I'm just gonna power through this, get everything organized in piles, and then we'll see how much we actually got rid of out of the closet. Let's do this. She made me at the college Her friends play my songs and they been following me Yeah, I don't like to do that much explaining or talking Just know she had coffee with me, yeah I hear you like pizza and dancing Love that is not that romantic, yeah 
I think what I'm gonna do now is put all my yeses back in my closet because I need to have room to like go through all my shoes and everything. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that even though you're supposed to take everything out of your closet first. I took all my clothes out, I organized them and I'm gonna put them back in. I've always actually had my closet organized by type. So I've had like tank tops, t-shirts, jackets, dresses, whatever, like all the way from front to back. But I think I wanna color code it. I think that'd be fun. I know a lot of people do this and their closet always looks like so organized and aesthetic. So now we're gonna put everything Thing back in the closet that's a yes um i'm just <laughs> trying not to go overwhelmed still have all my shoes to do in my drawers and uh my room is a complete disaster it'll be worth it in the end when everything's nice and organized so i'm gonna get this off my floor so that way we can pull more stuff out and keep organizing So this is what it's looking like so far for the hanging clothes. I did white, nude, gray, black, and then over here I have my colors. Pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And I already have so much more hanging space. We're actually going to come back over here and start on the shoes because I really, really need to go through my shoes. I have these up here and then I also have like shoes just like piled all back there and like up here. So I'm gonna start taking all these shoes out now and going through them and deciding what I wanna keep and what I want to get rid of. I now have all of my shoes. I don't know if you can see them like laid out on the floor besides the ones that I have in my shoe boxes. So I'm gonna go through some of these with you guys um, and just decide whether I'm going to keep them or sell them. These black heels I have from Shein, I absolutely love. So these are definitely a keep. I have my duck boots and these are definitely a keep as well. Definitely essential for the fall time. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of these. I've not worn these in a long time and every time I put them on, they're always like so neon bright they never match anything and I always feel like my feet look like glow in the dark. So these are gonna have to be a no, unfortunately. Shoes are done. I only got rid of two. I really don't have that many shoes to be honest, so that wasn't really too hard. But now I'm going to put them back in my closet. So then I actually got a shoe rack to build to put along the top of my closet so that way I can put my boxed shoes on there just because I cannot have shoe boxes piled at the top of my closet. It's just not good and they fall down all the time. So I'm going to put like my sandals and everything back in here and then we can build a shoe rack so that way the top of the closet can be nice and organized too. So it's a few days later. I needed a break after cleaning out my closet just because I took so much energy, but I did get a ton of stuff out of my closet. So I have a full trash bag here. I have another one and then I actually have more clothes out in the hallway too. So I got a lot of stuff out of here. Now I'm going to do my drawers. So let me show you guys kind of like the drawers that I have. So I have this drawer at the bottom of our bed. This one's actually Devin's, but this one is mine. So this is a mess. This is now organized. I can honestly fit more in here and it's just thrown in here. So we're gonna clean this out and organize it because I don't even wear a lot of the clothes in here. This is our dresser and I have the bottom drawer, which just has more random tops in here. These I can actually probably fit in my closet. So I wanna kind of move some of this stuff in my closet so that way I can kind of free up this drawer here. And then finally down here, I have my socks. Now I don't need this many socks. Like there's literally probably a hundred pair of socks in here. So I need to go through all of this and then I actually got drawer dividers too to put in this drawer here. So that way we can kind of organize it and make it a lot nicer. That way everything doesn't end up like in a big pile just on top of each other. So. First things first, just like we did with the closet, I'm gonna take everything out of my dresser. I'm gonna leave my socks just because I really don't want a hundred pair of socks on my bed. So I'm going to at least start with these and then we'll move on to the socks later. That's the thing that I'm like least worried about. We're 
we're back on the floor. I feel like this is like the easiest way to kind of sort the clothes into piles that I want. So I think I actually want to keep a lot of these. These are actually kind of new from Shein. Um, I just need to hang them because they don't need to be stuffed into a drawer. This I think I am going to get rid of you guys. I... It's this really cute set with biker shorts. They're like these white cotton biker shorts and it has like a big oversized tee to go with it. I've never worn this, but I got it like a year ago. I haven't worn it yet. I'm probably not gonna wear it. So I'm probably going to be selling this. Oh man, this is so cute too from Nasty Gal. I actually got this in a haul probably earlier this year. It is so cute. First of all, like the colors, the buttons, I love the cropped shape, but I've not even worn this since I bought it. And I bought it probably seven months ago, I wanna say. I think I'm gonna have to sell this in my closet too. I think this might be the same haul that this was from. Brand new, never worn it. Um, it's like this white button up. It's really stretchy, super comfortable. So this is gonna be a no from me too. I'm actually going to fold them, like I said, using the Kamari method. Marie Kondo says to use this method because it's supposed to be really good at saving space in your drawers. And obviously, since we're limited on space, that's what we want. So I'm going to show you guys the method that she says to use. You lay your jeans flat, then you actually fold them in half. And then you fold them up to almost the waistband, like a little bit above the pocket, like this. And then you fold it twice. So then you fold once and then fold again and this is what you get so it's really nice because you can still see the pocket and the color of the jeans so that we can obviously see what kind of jean it is so i'm going to quickly fold all of my jeans like this and then we will put them back into the drawer Wow, these look so good. Rather than them just being like stacked on top of each other and you can't see anything. You can see every single jean, they're in color order. I love this, it also looks really nice. I have clothes everywhere, <laughs> but I also put in the drawer dividers. These are the ones that I got, they're from Target. You get two of them for $16. So I'm gonna start putting some stuff in here. I might do like leggings, sports bras, and socks maybe. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start putting some stuff in here and then just see how it goes. Alright, I think it's time. Are you guys ready for the reveal? I know it's a little anticlimactic because I accidentally deleted the before clips, but it's still exciting. So, um, let's look at the closet first and then I'll show you guys the drawers. So the first thing different that I did is I organized it by color, which I absolutely love. I did white, tan, black, and then I started with the rainbow down here. So I love the way that it looks when I open my closet. I also had piles of shoe boxes up there. So I got this shoe shelf from Target and I put all of my nice shoes up there. And then I have the rest like my sandals and boots down here. I try to do these in color order as well. So we have white, gray, then it kind of goes into black. And then they're also kind of by style and then pink browns and then my three pairs of slippers over here isn't as pretty but i have my sweatpants up there it's kind of messy because the pile is kind of falling over so i need to make two piles and then i have my overflow sweatshirts back there i don't love this i still kind of want to organize this a little bit better but it's good for now and then like i said i organized my clothes by the rainbow so we have red orange yellow green blue purple and then i have my sweatshirts which once again i tried to do my best in color order we have white tan 
and and then it kind of goes down into gray black and then I did my colors down here so I did blue pink orange and green and then for my drawers I will start with this one so like I said um, I put in the drawer dividers and then obviously I organized this I put all of my workout leggings right here and then I put my regular leggings on the side here just because I only have three pairs <laughs> so I don't really have too many regular leggings and then I have my overflow sweatpants uh, my one pair boxers that I have my sports bras and then obviously my socks which I went through and they look a lot better now and then I know I already showed you guys this but we have my jean drawer which is probably my favorite drawer it looks so pretty and I love how you can see every pair of jean that I have so the end result was three full trash bags and then I also have my shoes out in the hallway so about four trash bags full of clothes which is crazy but it does feel so good to just get all this stuff out of my closet that I don't wear anymore because I know someone else will appreciate this a lot more than I do it's gonna go to a better home and not just sit in my closet so once again, I just want to say thank you so much to Poshmark for sponsoring this video. Download Poshmark in the USA, Canada, and Australia using the link in the description box below. And shop for my closet or your favorite brand. So I will try to have all of these up, hopefully by the time that this video goes up. If not, most of the stuff will at least be in my closet. I probably have... 50 things I want to say honestly maybe more so definitely download the Poshmark app and keep an eye out for those pieces But I really hope you guys enjoy the video Please make sure to like this video subscribe before you go and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys